Hi, grandchild. Hey, what took you so long? What took you so long? Oh my God, it's voiced. Mean this it means I'm long dead. <laughs> I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you, and I know you will take care Why of yourself. Why is the TikTok That's voice? Why I you nothing. I've decided to leave this letter for you in this abandoned place for no reason at all. Kind of funny. Thank you, Grandpa. I am excited and ready to be able to make this place up and running. I am so pleasant. I am so pleased to be able to have a beautiful time turning on the power and then running this beautiful motel. I cannot wait to get started. First, we have to go and turn on the power. We must find where it is. I got TikTok grandpa. That's crazy. Starting off with an AI grandpa is like, I left you nothing. I left you dirt. Go kill yourself. Uh, fix it, I guess. Bye. Grandpa left me this place. Come here. Come here. I want to show you something. Stop right there. Don't you want to stay at my luxury motel? Come here. Come here. Right now. Stop right now, criminal. I need you to stop right now. Is this incentivizing a good and pleasant stay at my motel? I, you need to tell me. Is this incentivizing a good... I'm gonna blow your tires out. Chill. I'm just trying to ask you, is this incentivizing a good stay at my motel? You have to tell me. Doesn't work, then we're okay. She does not care. What else we got around here? A pear? Why is that? Oh, I thought it was a whole pear. I thought somebody didn't even eat the pear. They just had a whole pear in there. <laughs> Hungry for pear? Oh, you know it, babe. Peepaw couldn't leave me like his old handy employees. The people who used to work here. Peepaw couldn't leave me the people who used to work here. Didn't want to do that, did he? Didn't want to leave didn't want to leave me any 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 like employees or nothing? I alright. I mean I guess I'll just make it a nice white room for now. We'll turn this up later. I'm gonna have themed rooms. Peepaw's gonna hate that. I hope his spirit infests this place. I hope he's pissed about it. I'm gonna have themed rooms, asshole. We're gonna do room theming. I hate you, Peepaw. Is that him? The hell? Peepaw, are you up there? Are you gonna move Fossa at me? I feel like I'm terrified. I feel like I'm gonna... He looks like Bowser. Is my grandpa Bowser? You're doing well, boy. You're doing well. Now all you gotta do is crack open a couple of beers and give him a hell yeah. Is my Peepaw Stone Cold Steve Austin? From the sky, from the heavens, my grandfather. No themed rooms. Grow up. People, people love themed rooms. Haven't you seen the clown motel? People love the clown motel. People like go miles. They travel miles and miles to go to the famous clown motel. People doesn't know nothing. This is why he's dead. Grandpa don't know nothing. He doesn't have any good business sense. This is why he died. The mob got him. This does have like the aura of the mob got people, doesn't it? This motel has dial up. It does not. There's no internet access. This motel is by those um those big satellite dishes where uh, a bunch of crazy people moved to because they were worried about 5G infecting their brain with viruses. There's this there's this area I think in, in the U.S. where because of the proximity to these satellites, uh, there are no like cell phone connections or internet signals. There's there's basically no like cell phone reception or anything. Everything is landlined in, and a bunch of people were moving there because uh, the signals in my brain, I could feel the 5G. Thinking about that a lot. Thinking about like the the small town of like normal folks, and then just the the the, the people from all across the world infecting their town. You know, this town's nice. I love that there's no 5G. But um, <laughs> why won't my cell phone work? <laughs> what? I do like this town, but uh, where are the Starbucks at? What, bro? We got we got we got like one diner. You want a greasy? You want the worst burger you've ever had? You can get the worst burger you ever had, but we got not much else. Why the icebox so far away? How do I get the slurp fish out of there? For a while, the, uh, the 5G thing, I love how people were selling Faraday cages and people were like, why isn't my Wi-Fi working now? I think about my time at Best Buy when I worked there and I think about the old lady who got really mad at me because she wanted to buy a government issue, uh, like a, like a, it was like a cell phone signal jammer that she wanted to buy. And we're like, those aren't, you can't, you can't buy a cell phone signal jammer at the Best Buy, ma'am. And she was like, yeah, I, can. I saw it on the TV. And I was like, do you mean like a, what are you talking about? You can't buy a cell phone signal jammer. Why not? Because you can't. Why do you think you, why do you think you could? What? Those are illegal. You can't buy a cell phone. Technically, you're not, a, you're, in certain states, you're not allowed to buy like a radar jammer either. What if I want to jam signals? I don't know. Get some raspberry. Get some blueberry. Jam those signals with some strawberry jam even. What else we get around here? Sheets. This guy is so mad that I'm <laughs> Hey man, can you just take all the items at the back? I, I really got another, I really, dude, I, I got another, um, bro, I got, I got like five more deliveries today. I gotta head back to, 
I gotta head back and, and pick up those items, man. I can't I can't have you just sitting here all day taking all this stuff out. Don't worry about it, dude. Not a big worry, dude. Just setting up the motel room, dude. Don't think too hard, dude. I, I already saw it. I think I think I'm gonna go Ronald McDonald. I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go Ronald McDonald cuck chair. I think I think that <laughs> I think I'm gonna go Ronald McDonald cuck chair in the first motel room. Makes a lot of sense to me. Ooh, what about things in the toilet? Uh, no, they're going to steal this. I'm not putting that in there. I'm not putting mouthwash and stuff in the hotel room. They're going to steal it. I don't care. Oh, there's toilet paper holders. Oh, you could buy a towel rack. Oh, no. Toilet paper on the floor, towel on the towel, towel on the toilet. Grow up, figure it out. A cuck chair to eat the burgies in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Grimace, let me kiss the Hamburglar. Sit in your chair, Ronald. Eat your burgies. Fine. I'll keep eating my burgies. But you'll rue the day, mister. I feel like Ronald McDonald is definitely a you'll rue the day, mister kind of guy. Sit in your burgie chair. Eat your McDoubles. This feels fucked up. What, they were doing McDonald's cuck RP? <laughs> <laughs> We paved paradise, we put up the parking lot, now we have to follow through. Everybody always says, let's pave paradise, let's put up the parking lot, but then nobody wants to follow through. Now, welcome to the motel, do you want- Hi. Welcome to my motel. Complimentary 21 gun salute. I'm not counting, are you? Why does he have the devil's eyes? Is he this the devil? Are you the devil? Why is the devil my first- is that the devil? from the bible why is the devil from my <laughs> oh welcome to my motel what should i write down a uh, lucifer fallen angel ah the devil my first guest who said what the deuce in chat don't say what the deuce don't get stewie Gri i don't want my chat to be uh, like uh, an analogous to stewie griffin right and you bring some real stuart griffin energy to the stream ryan that's, uh, that's my impression of Brian Griffin. That's my impression of Stewie Griffin choking on a grapefruit and Brian Griffin is in the room. Brian! Oh, sorry, Stewie. I, I, don't, I don't know the Heimlich. I don't know what to do. Let me, uh, let me go on a... Uh, let me... Real quick, I just gotta go on a How to Stop Choking Baby from Choking on Google.com. Oh! <laughs> my uh, internet history. Oh, ass ahoy. I only know what the deuce. I only know what the deuce and that one time that Stewie Griffin appeared on the television show Bones because one of the characters uh, was having a... Uh, he had a brain tumor. So he started literally uh hallucinating Stu stewie griffin and then stewie griffin is just in that episode i think about bones a lot and how like magic exists in bones i, I don't want to ever watch bones ever again but i do think about bones a lot in the way that bones is an absolute psychotic show made for psychos and sickos there there is an episode of bones where it's a crossover with the sleepy hollow show and in the sleepy hollow show magic is real meaning that magic is real in the bones universe they just never experience it until that sleepy hollow crossover but isn't bones like do really dog shit because after they got uh booth and bones together they had no idea what to do with them they have a kid yeah don't they have a kid and they're like we don't know what to do with these characters now that we already got past the will they won't they we have no idea what to do we already did the will they they will they what do we do about the won't they how do we how do we keep this sh people watching this show? We did the will they the won't they that we did the will they. What do we do now that they, they know it's not going to be the won't they? Oh boy, here we go. Everything you need for a motel: the cuck chair, the 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 rug, the skull, the giant dinosaur statue I decided to buy. I'm gonna put that right in the bathroom. That's a centerpiece. I hope he doesn't mind. I'm gonna go into his room. Oh, I'm not allowed in. All right. Well, that's going in the room. Actually, you know what? Can I, can I put that in here? I think it'll really, I think it'll really tie the room together. That's my dinosaur for my enjoyment. Okay, I'll put the other stuff in the warehouse because I can't put it in the room just yet. I gotta wait until he's done. Ready, can you make it clip through the window? I can try, yeah. I gotta talk. Whoops. I'll fix that in a second. Yeah, that ain't good. There we go. We'll put those in the warehouse for now. Welcome to the One Dinosaur Motel. Enjoy your stay and the One Dinosaur. Can I make it clip through the window? I don't think I can. I can put it like in the window though. Not like it's going to work because I have these awful chairs that I can't get rid of. Why the awful chairs? 
You know what? No, we'll put the dinosaur. No, I want him. I want him near. That's good. That's good. I think. If I go to a motel and it has that, I'm trusting it implicitly. That's good. I think. Order fuel. Oh, should you give me fuel? Give me fire? Give me W design? Motel sells fuel. This isn't just a motel. They they really went psychotic with it. There's the motel. There's the gas pump. And here's the store. Which honestly, we should we should just clean this up while we're here. Listen, I'm a small business owner. You don't need to eat. You don't need to sleep. You're a small business owner. You don't eat. You don't sleep. You only think about business. We don't eat. We don't sleep. We're business oriented. He's performing his dark rituals. <laughs> You'll never understand the things I've seen, the things I've done, the things that I will do. Oh no, he's summoning dark magics from beyond the veil. Oh no. Motel's at vending machines, not shops. I mean, like, uh, I don't know. When my grandma had an RV at the RV park, they had like their own little shop there. As someone with a business degree, I can confirm that everything that Brendan is saying is true. Yeah, you talk to the warlocks. Whenever you open up a business, you got to talk to the business warlocks. You got to make a deal. Are you ready to survive my potent magic trials? I just want to open up a comic book store. Trial number one. Retrieve the teeth of an infant. Babies ain't got teeth. Uh, okay, but like a, a baby who has teeth. Like a teethful baby? Yeah, like a teethful baby. Can I just buy them, or do we gotta... I mean, I mean yeah, I guess. Uh, show me how business savvy you are. Buy a baby's teeth. Kind of crazy. why they do that? why the business warlocks be like that? Buy those baby teeth in bulk, baby. God, I hope this motel doesn't experience, like, a Twin Peaks moment. I really don't want this motel to be Twin Peaks. I don't want to see somebody dancing out there in the fog. I really, dude, I really don't need this today. Number one of things on my list that I don't need to see is somebody dancing in the fog. What does your warlock voice sound like, Brack? Fake fan, that's Zorak. Hey, a space ghost. <laughs> Cops. Hello, officer. Get the fuck out of here. Leave. Get out. I'm gonna pop your tires. Hey, what's up? Hi. What did you- Did you come here to leave garbage? Did you walk- You drove all the way to my motel to leave a rotten apple. Because you are one! Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. I'm trying to- I'm just a small business owner trying to get by and the mountain police are already- They're already coming for me. Customer at fuel? I don't- I don't care. That's their problem. I want to look up here. I want to hawk loogies at cars. Shut up! Pump your own damn gas. I'm hawking loogies. All right, fine. I'll pump your gas. What do you got? A gas guzzler deluxe? I got you. Oh, I got to get it in the red line. Oh. Fill her up. Have a nice day. Oh, thank you, kindly, mate. Who you have a nice day, too. You know, stay nice, stay epic out there. You know what they say? You know? <laughs> if you see the trees moving, run. Hey, need a little gas? Talking about ass? Let me fill you up here. <laughs> you know what? I like your car. You think uh, you give me a smile? Hey. Think you give me a smile before I fill up your gas? I'm doing a nice thing for you here. You think you want to give me a smile? Come on, give me a smile. <laughs> All right, never mind. I'm sorry. I respect women. I'm sorry. I respect women. I respect women. I respect women. I'm sorry. It is amazing. I'm amazing. Give me a smile. <laughs> give me a smile. What did I say? Give me a goddamn smile. Get back here. Average motel owner. I <laughs> How's it going? You want to give me a smile? Gas for free if you give me a smile. Come on. Give me a smile. Come on. Give me a smile, damn it. Hi there. Would you give me a smile? Fine. I don't even want to smile. I don't even want to be afflicted with mountain madness. I don't even want to smile. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even want to smile. I don't even care. Get out. Thanks Leave. A bunch. Thanks a bunch. Get out of here. Out of my mountains. 
my mountains. What this guy up to? What kind of devious machinations is he doing in his room? I gotta go peek on this guy. I gotta go, I gotta be a beeping dom. What are you up to? He's gone. You know, he's still standing there by the window. He's just watching outside. He's just letting the days go by. Give me a, give me a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Or I'm gonna crush you with a rock? Oh, I wanna crush me with a rock. Don't you wanna give me a smile? Come on. Come on. Give me a smile. Huh? <laughs> it's not that hard, is it? Looking like you're a little cranky today. You just wanna give me a smile. Come on. Give me a smile. I need the shelf and the cash register as well. Fridge must be plugged. I already did that. I don't know how to plug in things. Don't worry about it. Back when I was a kid, that was kind of a tech wizard. You take the red, the yellow, and the white cables, you plug them into the front of the TV or the back of the TV. Easy peasy. People ain't know anymore. People don't know this thing. All right? There are people out there, you give them a coaxial cable, they'll hook up the cable from the cable box to the TV. They ain't know what they're doing. You give somebody an antenna, you say, you want to watch local television? This antenna goes into the coaxial in the back of your TV. They won't know what to do. They'll be like, coaxial? Oh, what? They'll have no idea. They won't know what to do. It's simple. It's shrimple. It's easy. I am full. I love this vehicle. It is a... It is the peak of human design. It is very human. I see this car and I think to myself, this car is very human. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't you ever show your face in your clown car ever again. Get out of here. Ugliest car I've ever seen. I'm immediately, I'm swooning. Do they still got the bodybuilders that go around like tour schools and like talk about Christianity while they hand you little tiny baseball bats and like break lumber in front of kids? When do they stop doing that? Do they still do that? How many in chat knows what I'm talking about and how many people in chat think I'm a psychopath? Do they still do that? Do they still have bodybuilders that tour for Jesus and they have tiny little baseball bats and they break lumber in front of you? You're a psycho? I, I can't wait. Oh, dude, I can't wait. One second. Bodybuilders for Jesus school. Ah, the power team. There it is. So they used to, so there used to be, I, I, I don't know if this music is copyrighted, but I have to talk about this. So there used to be these, uh, these guys that used to go around and, and like, if you think of a psycho, real thing, American thing. There used to be these guys who were big and buff and they would have tiny little baseball bats. They would do feats of strength and talk about Jesus and they would like break lumber There'd just be these really old, ripped, buff guys, and they'd have these tiny little baseball bats. See, like that. You see that tiny little baseball bat? They would have these tiny little baseball bats that they would break and, like, hit each other with. And then they would just talk about, like, Jesus in front of kids. I used to have one of those tiny little baseball bats. Yeah, they used to break those. Yeah, I remember the power team. They used to have cinder blocks and stuff. they break single cinder blocks and start fires and then talk about Jesus. You thought I was a psycho. This was a real thing. Get owned, bozos! They did rip a phone book for us, they did. You thought it was a psycho thing. It was actually a real thing. Get owned. Both things can be true. No, they can't. Don't you already know the way that the world works? If one thing is true, it means the other one is false. If you are offered two things and one of them proves to be true, the other one is automatically made false. Can you give me a smile? You see, I'm a hungry little fella and I would love one, one thing. Wait a minute, is that a darn smile? Are you giving me a smile, sir? Can I const- Is that Markiplier, but he hit the fence? <laughs> Bro, I gotta get out of here! Bro, I gotta get out of here! He just got done playing Five Nights at Fenty's. I gotta get out of here, dude. See ya. He just got done. I gotta get out of here! Oh, no! Is that van here yet? No, we're fine. We're good. <laughs> Five Nights at Fenty's? <laughs> Why was Albert Einstein in a car with Crackhead Markiplier? <laughs> oh, I love this mountain town, dude. Right next to Fence City, once again. I love, I love working in a motel in a mountain town right next to Fence City. I love it. More than most, more than anything, I love it when I'm out here in the mountains right next to Ketamine Mountain, close to Fence City Springs. I'm having a good time, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, the city of Fentopolis. It's right over that mountain, dude. Oh. Playing a new game of, uh, what is it? Uh, God, plague Inc. Playing a new game of Plague Inc. And thinking, what kind of epidemic will I start? How about the opioid epidemic? 
I'm not gonna go get your gas. I'm gonna go on the road. There's boxes over here, and I want to see if I can sell them. Is this my property? This is not my property. That is not the play area. I am not allowed out there. They're going to hit me with the ion cannon if I leave the area. You're stuck here forever at your motel gas station shop. Enjoy. They're gonna hit me with the ion cannon, ain't they? What is this, a Prius? Why does it look like Yoshikaga Kira? But like great value Yoshikaga Kira. Get out of here. Get out of here. That is what I was looking Nobody for. cares about JoJo's anymore. Move on. I'm going to put the bed sheet, the blanket, and the towel all up in there. Oh, how, how nasty he leave the room. Oh, my God. He left. Why did he leave half a slice of water? Where did he get the quarter slice of watermelon from? Where did he get the quarter slice of watermelon from? What do you mean he left a quarter slice of watermelon in there? Where did he get that from? Who gave that to him? Shaming him for enjoying shower watermelon. No, that's like, that's not even, sh he's not, there's not even a shower. I, oh God, there's somebody at this store. Oh God, oh God, oh God, how do I? Oh God, oh my God, just get in there. Just, come on. Don't mind me. I just got it. Can I sell you? I can't sell you. Of course not. No, that'd be silly. I would be silly. Hello, sir. Hey, how's it going? No, don't come in here for gas. Hi. You want me to check out? All right, just at Snickers. Enjoy. Hope you have a good one. I love you. That should be my catchphrase at my gas station. At my motel, when you come to my motel, I will always tell you, I love you. And I love our prices even more. Hello. Hoddly diddly, diddly hadly. This feels like what Ned Flanders would do after The Simpsons ends. They send him out in the mountains to own a gas station shop and motel and it drives him insane. Then he kills and eats a guy. You are lightning fast. You are lightning fast. I hate Hadley Hadley. Diddly Hidley. Hadley Hadley Diddly Diddly. Hadley Hidley Diddly Hadley Hidley. Three. Who the hell is buying soda and candy bar at this time of night in this part of the city? Hello. Hi. How's it going? Two candies. I got gotcha. you. Have a good one. Hey there. What you got? One candies. I got gotcha. you. Hey. How's it going? Ooh. One candies. I got gotcha. you. In a heartbeat. Oh. I just moved that. I didn't mean to. Hi, what's up? A candy and a soda. Mm, I gotcha. Why am I, why am I busy? All right, now how do we, how do we drive this? All right, there we go. Easy, easy, out of the way. Oh, you are real. <laughs> Every time you pick up the scanner, the game jolts for a second. I feel like I was watching a stream highlight video. Oh, like it cuts. I <laughs> like, what was that cut? What did I miss? Why, Brendan, why did you, why did you take out 45 minutes of you talking about beans on the stream? We wanted that. We wanted that content. Why do I gotta go watch the VOD for that? Come on, Brendan. They have trucker pills. I wish they had gorilla pills, but I don't think they do. I don't think the gorilla pills are available to me, but I can take a little look-see. Why can't I fill my gas station with gorilla pills? Full of guarana and taurine. Full of guarana. Crazy, crazy levels of guarana. Who out there is leaving wood shavings? Am I having a gerbil invasion? I don't. Sell Zaza's. Dude, I got so many jewel pods that I'm selling at my gas station. I'm gonna make you go crazy. I'm I have those specialty jewel pods with 20 times the amount of nicotine. Candy. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Do your little strut. Oh, yeah. Why is it that whenever I... Why is it whenever I help a customer out, they wiggle their ass as they walk away? I, I don't like that. Sell gas station weed. Oh, I need the Delta 8. When am I going to sell the uh, the King Kingdom Hearts cart? The Kingdom cart? Wow, that's quick. Shit guaranteed to make you goofy. Why can't men be men and inhale hot tar laced with nicotine anymore? Why doesn't anybody want to smoke 500 cigarettes anymore? Now it's 500 jewel pods? This country, man, this country. I swear. This place has changed, man. Go. <laughs> Drive. Get out of here. Get out of here now. Be gone. I'm controlling you with psychic thoughts. Leave. 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 Oh. Chad, it wasn't me. Chad, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. If anybody asked Chad, that wasn't me. How did they get into that accident? Um, you know what, officer? It wasn't me. Who's dropping dried cantaloupe? Who? I don't sell. I don't sell cantaloupe. I don't need your business. I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait. You can wait. You can suffer. 
I don't know how to pump my own gas. I live in New Jersey. Please help me. Nope. I don't care. Is that the state? Is that like the pump your own gas state? Is that? Oh no, I live in New Jersey. I don't know how to pump my own gas. I couldn't possibly. Oh my God, they're making big messes. What are you doing? What do you want? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I get you gas. What is this? Uh, is it a classic car? This thing, this thing looks like it belongs in the Culver's parking lot. I don't know if anybody else experiences that. Why is it that, like, there is a day, if you have a Culver's in your town, that's the place where all the old guys with old cars go to, like, hang out? They, like, all hang out in the Culver's parking lot? That was fast. That's just, like, the way, the where they are is always in the Culver's parking lot. I gotta go to Culver's now. They got the butter burger there, and that's, like, the funniest name for any kind of burger. Go to the Culver's, get the butter burger. Where are they? Are they just wandering? Get out. Who, what? What is this? Who did whippets in my parking lot? Who out there doing whippets in the parking Hello. <laughs> Leave. A bunch. Who out there doing whippets in the parking lot? Get out of here. Come on, you next. It, 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 that doesn't run on gas. That shit runs on fumes. What is this? Well, it's a classic car. That's not a classic car. That's the Tonka truck in the backyard of Sid, the evil kid from Toy Story 1's backyard. That's the shit that crawls out of the sand in Toy Story 1 right next to the spider-legged baby. What do you mean? That's the poop car. That's the poop car. You're driving the poop car? You're driving the poop car? You should sell Galaxy Gas. Isn't Galaxy Gas just whippets? Isn't it crazy how that, why is that the name of that now? That's just whippets, isn't it? Don't do whippets. They will kill, it will kill your brain cells. I know a kid who did whippets in middle school. He would do whippets and then he'd like fucking, he would sneak paint thinner and inhale the paint thinner fumes. One day he came into class and he just started hitting his head in the table and screaming. And then I never saw him again. And he was like kind of normal at the beginning of that semester. I would just see him in, in like inhaling paint fumes and like grabbing aerosol cans and going, <laughs> Galaxy Gas is nitrous that the company making them is pretending to sell as a baking thing, but it's obvious they want people to do whippets with it. Have you seen those pictures? Have you ever seen those fucking pictures of people who get addicted to whippets, like to a ridiculous degree, where their entire, like, their their floor is covered in uh, CO2 cartridges? That shit's scary. Why are your head popping out? Why are you so tall? This looks like Fortnite. Hands not even on the wheels. What the fuck? What is your finger? What that finger do, though? What is wrong with you? You an esports athlete? Oh. What is wrong with your hands? What is up with all of this? Are you play Valorant? Is that the You just just walking out? I don't have a room for you. I'm gonna tell you to leave. I'm gonna tell you to leave. I'm gonna tell you to leave. I'm gonna tell you to get the hell out. I don't care if you play rat Valorant. I don't care if you're top ranked. Leave. It's diesel time. Leave. I love you in Fast and the Furious. I love you in Triple X. And I love you in Chronicles of Riddick. Will you play D&D &D with me? Nope, never mind. He's out. Everybody be saying family, but I'll always think of D Vin Diesel whenever Paul Walker dressed up like Vin Diesel and he walked around just saying, Diesel time. It's Diesel time. I think it's Diesel time. I think about that moment a lot. I think about Diesel time. Diesel time. Diesel, diesel time. I think that'll do for now. That work? That'll do for now. You need to leave. Thanks. Do you enjoy haze? You need to leave. You don't enjoy haze? You need to leave. What do you mean you don't like haze? Get out of here. You need to leave. You you never should have come here. You don't like haze? Get out. You need to shut the fuck up before I make you shut the fuck up. I'm going to break your legs so hard. You're not going to have freaking legs anymore. That's not that's not that that's not a good threat. That wasn't a good threat, Brennan. You could have thought of something more creative. I, I wasn't thinking about a threat. I was thinking about putting gas in this car and getting mad at this dude. Good Mob job. tactics. Don't you dare come and shop here. Don't you dare. Don't you dare come and shop here. Don't you dare come and shop here at 2 a.m. I'm going to 
absolutely destroy you. Every ion, every atom in your body is going to be ripped asunder. I'm going to break you down into hydrogen and oxygen and spread your atoms all across the sky. Gas though, right? Gas though, right? Thanks. Leave. I have purchases. I have to make purchases. Officer? You're gonna come in, you're gonna drop, you're gonna drop, you're gonna walk in, and you're gonna drop a bunch of shit on the floor, aren't you? You're gonna drop a bunch of garbage on the floor, aren't you? But if you wanna act creepy so people leave, act like Deku. Hey, hope you enjoy your gas. Have a great one. Can't wait to see you later. I'll pump you up anytime. Big around even. Okay, bye. Ah, oh, jeez. Hey, welcome to my store. Hope you're having a great day. Ah, oh, jeez. Let me get you some McDonald's burgers. Oh man, can't wait to help you out. Hey, what are you buying? I'll be right with you. I gotta go tell somebody to fuck off. Oh, hey there. Do you pee your pants, handsome? Don't worry. You can leave. Gotcha. You made me wait for a while. Oh, shut up. Boo hoo. Boo hoo hoo. I'm a customer and I have to wait for the cashier to come to the shop. Boo hoo 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 hoo. Droopy dog head ass, get out of here. Oh, dear. Oh, mother. Who's coming out here and buying all my birds? Is there a gamer convention nearby? Are they all birding? Boo hoo hoo. Boo hoo hoo hoo. I'd cry if a customer told me that. I had to wait. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I wanted to provide the finest of services, and I failed you. That was me in retail, one of my seven years in retail hail. Anytime a customer was like, hey man, I was waiting here a while, I would say, I, I, I can't believe I've done this. I failed you. I would grab the scanner gun and I'd hold it to my head. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll put the infrared beams inside of my skull. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Chat, you may think, Brendan, don't spend $800 on crazy donuts. Chat. I have to tell you, I'm spending $800 on crazy donuts, chat. I spent $800 on crazy donuts, chat. We got them all. <laughs> this is my crazy motel with crazy prices. I had to sell the crazy donuts. I have no money and I'm a scream. <laughs> Me whenever the rent is due. I have no money and I'm a stream. Harlan Ellison. I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, get up in there. Thanks for the tip. See you later. Have a good one. You enjoy the sights and sounds of the area? I hear Bigfoot's out there. Better be careful, brother. Hit you with the stone cold stunner, you will. You're not careful out there. Bigfoot's gonna get you. I hear he's out there. I can smell him out there. He's doing it. He's Bigfooting out there. Let me tell you something. When I come off the top rope and I hit Bigfoot with the elbow drop, ain't nothing gonna save him. Oh yeah, his foot's gonna be real small when I'm done. Oh yeah, they're gonna call him Littlefoot. Oh yeah, he's gonna like three stars. Oh yeah, oh yeah, gonna turn this gasoline to the gasoline. Let's smoke a little bit. Uh... You need to leave. I'm not done yet. I'm preparing the room, but you gotta get out. Whatever you're about to ask, you need to leave. Let me uh, pop a couple of pussies over here and then pop a couple of perk 30s. Uh. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no, you goddamn didn't. Hello. Bye-bye. Oh, that's... Uh, don't sleep. Don't sleep in the bed in the truck. No, stop it. No truck sleeping. Go. Oh, they need gas. They need sandwiches. They want their crazy donuts and they want them now. Get out. In a heartbeat. <laughs> I'll leave. I'll leave right now, I swear. Don't leave, I promise. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out. I love your car, you can stay forever. Why is this person still here? Why are they chat? What the fuck? Just scary. Okay. Well, you just chill out there in the room, I guess. You just chill out there in the room. They can't leave. I'll have a room in a moment. I gotta. Oh my god, the mess. 
Why, did, why is there half a... Why is that a... Is that half a durian fruit? You ate half a durian fruit in here, huh? You really had to eat half a durian fruit, huh? I gotta clean the sheets. No bed bugs. No bed bug delight. We're not doing the bed bug delight shit. No bed bug delights. Uh-uh. I'm not filling in a Claire with bed bugs and saying, Yes, yes, feed on my creatures. That's not me. I'm not the guy who's gonna make you eat the bug. I may have purchased far too many crazy donuts. I'm not gonna lie to you. I may have bought $800 worth of crazy donuts thinking that they were going to sell. Um, now here's the thing. I don't know how well they're gonna sell, but I do know that I'm definitely a guy who spent $800 on crazy donuts. Have a nice that's a lot more than, that's honestly, that might be more crazy donuts than a man would ever need. But I was, to be fair, at the time, I was thinking a little crazy. There's never enough crazy donuts, Brendan. There's never enough. I'm not going to buy more. I'm not going to buy more crazy donuts. I already bought $800 worth of crazy donuts. We don't need any more. All right, we just got to put it in the warehouse. We got to put it in the warehouse. We got to put it on the shelves. You know, we just put a couple of crazy donuts on the shelves. You know, it's, time, it's about time, right? It feels like it's about time, it's about time to put some crazy donuts up there in a crazy shelf, am I right? But a couple of crazy... I can eat a couple of crazy donuts, you know? I'm feeling crazy for donuts. I eat a couple of crazy donuts. You know... You're a coward and a fool. What for cra my crazy donuts? Look how crazy they are. Look how crazy my crazy donuts are. They're so crazy. For not indulging in more? I'm not going to make the entirety of the store crazy donuts. I'm just, I'm going to stack some. And then we're going to have a lot of crazy donuts to sell inevitably. It's just, I... <laughs> you should buy more, Brendan. Hello, Brendan. I'm the demon inside of your brain. Buy more crazy donuts now, streamer. No! No! Thanks a bunch. No! It's already crazy enough. We're already in the realm of crazy. It's already crazy enough, chat. It doesn't need to be even more crazy. I demand more crazy. That guy in that crazy donut area, the delivery guy is just like watching me talk to myself. Like, <laughs> there's a little demon in my ear and he's just, buy more crazy donuts. Uh, you know you wanna. Like, no. No. Is it crazy? Are the crazy donuts? Do you think they're gonna be a big hit? Somebody's at the shop. I hope they buy $800 worth of crazy donuts. Are you here for my famous worldwide... Oh. Amazing. Are you here for my famous worldwide crazy donut? Sold. Lightning fast. Sold. Sold, chat. Already sold one. You know what that means? Go all in. Go all in. Go all in. I gotta put the, toilet, put the gold toilet paper down. Oh my god. I'm getting, I'm getting beset, I'm beset on all sides by demons. I'm beset on all sides by customers. They're ceaseless. It is a never-ending Black Friday. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. It is a never-ending Black Friday. It will never end, it will never end, it will never end, it will never end. <laughs> smile, Brendan, smile, smile, put a smile on the face. Get out. That is what I was looking for. <laughs> that is what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Where are they getting these cars? At Uncle John's fucked up wacky car repository? There's not a- I haven't seen a normal car. Every car is goofy. In a heartbeat. Every car is wacky. This is like a, the, the final stop. This is the final rest stop before the wacky races ends. This is the final rest stop before the wacky races ends. This is just the wacky races. I need to move these. <laughs> Remind me to never do this again. I didn't understand how many boxes this would be. And it's about 30 boxes of crazy donuts that I'm moving. Moving about, you know, 30 to 40 boxes of crazy donuts into my warehouse. You know how it is. I, uh... <laughs> I don't know if my game is having a hard... I think my game is having a hard time with all the crazy donuts, I'm not gonna lie. I could sell them, but I refuse. I need to send this guy on his way. Oh my god, the electric went out. Do I have mail? I don't have any mail. Okay, the electric's back on. Uh, who left half... Who does this? Who leaves a piece of watermelon on the floor? Why? You twisted psychopaths. Get out. Thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch. Get out. Get out. Leave. What is this car? What do you mean? It's like the white hearse. The white hearse is riding through the mountains, ready to come to my gas station to reap what I've sown. What do I do with these? What do I do with these impeccably insane donuts? Aside from sell them and eat them, I guess. I mean, I guess I can eat a couple of them. My character do get hungry. We can put some more crazy. We can put some more crazy donuts down. That's that's how it be. 
Oh, there's a witch of a girth. Hello. Hello. So don't mind me, sir. I'm just stocking the crazy donuts. That's my job. That's what I do. They're so zany. They have little faces. That mean they're crazy. Would you like some? You ridiculous. Get out. Whenever I see somebody and they're not buying a crazy donut, I'm immediately mad at them. I'm very upset. If you're not buying crazy donuts, you need to leave. Bro, those Zins, bro. Bro, those, those black currant Zins are on sale. I gotta get those, dude. I gotta get, I gotta get those black currant Zins, dude. Those things are on sale. That dip is on sale. That dip is on sale, dude. I gotta get some dip, dude. That dip is on sale right now, dude. That dip is on sale. I gotta get that dip, dude. That dip is on sale, dude. That dip is on sale. I gotta get that dip, dude. That dip is on sale. I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying. That dip is on sale, dude. Are you buying crazy donuts? I respect and love you. That's cool. <laughs> That's what my wife says whenever I say I love you too. That's crazy. <laughs> Shelby, I love you. That's cool. I. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> it's just marriage things, you know. It's just what married couple do. Wondering how many times you've almost called your wife chat. I've never called my wife chat. I gotta stop saying chat. I gotta start saying folks. Now, folks. You may think that I bought too many crazy donuts. This is not true. Folks, I I didn't buy enough, I think. I think I should spend more on crazy donuts. You don't have enough crazy donuts. Do you see the blessing of how many crazy... That's not even true. You know I have more than enough crazy donuts. Some may say almost too many crazy donuts. <laughs> Call your chat esteemed guests. No, because that's going to give me like the GameStop PTSD. Is that something retail, retail stores tried to do or try to do? Where they say, no... Let's help our guests. That's like retail. That's retail manager slime. I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Helping out a guest at the gas pump, boss. Hope I can afford my insulin this week. No. Awesome. That's cool. Me when I got the gamer BDs and I need to put my insulin in my body. <laughs> I love standing around and having a good time. This room is nice. I'm thinking about my wife. I wonder where she is. I wonder if anybody's going to find the bodies. No, nah, no way. They'll never find them. I do sure love... Go into the bathroom. That guy was weird. Was he watching me? No, I wasn't. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. No. What are you doing in there? Hey. Hey. Hey, buddy. Look outside. Hey. Take a little look-see. I'm watching you. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. You shitting in there? You pissing in there, handsome? What in the absolute fuck? Who? Who? I... I want to invoke like an old phrase from eons past. I want to like scream like I saw the worst pair of shoes. I want to yell, what are those? But like, I kind of would like, what is this? What is this vehicle of the future? Why are all the cars that park here Hot Wheels cars? What the hell? Is that the side? <laughs> One sec, can I fucking get out? Get out. I don't serve. I don't serve people in the cyber truck. Get out. You need to leave. Get out. I don't serve people in the cyber truck. You need to leave. No, don't get out of your car. Don't get out of your car. Don't park. Uh -uh. I'm just doing. Yeah, I'm just doing my do my due diligence. I'm just doing my duty. I'm just doing. I'm just doing what I gotta do, Chad. I'm just doing what I gotta do. You'd like a room? I cannot wait to tell you to fuck off. Thanks. It's bulletproof. No, it's not. Does the gun do anything? I think the gun... I think you can get burglars, and you have to shoot the burglars. And I was reading... I think I read that you have to buy the acid to melt the body of the burglars, or the cops fine you $500. Oh, my God. A lot of candy, huh? Thanks a bunch. Well, thank you for the $10. Now, I think you can... I think you can get burgled. And if you see a burglar and they try to steal stuff, you could shoot them, and then you have to turn the body, you have to buy the acid, and then melt the body so the cops don't see it. Because if the cops see it, then they fine you $500. I <laughs> cigarettes, 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 cigarettes. Mmm. Put it back in the box. Don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you, don't you get nicotine high off your own supply? It's cigarette time. Five hundred cigarettes. No, 60. I have 60 cigarettes. You know what you need more of? You're gonna say crazy donuts, aren't you? You're gonna say crazy donuts. I don't have crazy donut money right now. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, you need more crazy donuts, Brendan. And I'm gonna tell you 100%, I do not have crazy donut money right now. What are you thinking about buying, huh? What are you thinking about getting? You thinking about get? what about, what if you get, um, what if you get some darn soda? Hmm? What if you buy some darn, well, hey there. 
I don't want to peer pressure you or anything, but I'm, my name is Jason Cigarettes. I work at the cigarette store, and I think it'd be awesome if you bought a bunch of cigarettes. It didn't work. He wanted crazy donuts. He did not want cigarettes. What's more addictive, crazy donuts or cigarettes? We'll never know. We'll never know. They'll never tell us. The crazy donut ind industry will never tell us what's more addictive, crazy donuts or cigarettes. Oh, I feel... What the fuck? Did he stick a bunch of garbage on the ceiling? Why did he leave a banana? What do you mean he left a banana in here? Bathroom banana. <laughs> Winston from Overwatch. I was hungry. <laughs> You don't want you don't want to know what he was doing with that banana. We're not implying the existence of the doo-doo banana. Stop that. We're not gonna you are not gonna sit there and talk to me about that's a doo-doo banana, Brendan. That what is, it's that? a doo-doo banana. It's not a doo-doo, but you stop that right now. We're not gonna imply the existence of a doo-doo banana. It was a doo-doo banana, Brendan. You, it was. If the monkey want the nanners, I'll give them the nanners. Excuse me for Toilet nanner. They were using it to see how big the toilet was. They were, were they like putting it into the drain in the toilet? Now I got a ban I, I, I normally, you know, with, with my familial line, I shit about a banana sized turd. So I bring a banana with me to every motel I go to and I throw the banana. I squish it down the drain to make sure it'll actually flush because I most motels don't have a plunger just in there. And I got I got these wide banana shaped turds that are curved every time I shit. And so I just want to make sure 100% that it, it'll always fit down the drain. Need a banana for scale. Yeah, I need to know exactly scale size of the toilet hole. Gotta make sure it's not a joke hole just for farts. Did not expect to be wheeze laughing today at the phrase doo-doo banana. I mean, you find a banana in the bathroom and it's covered in brown stuff. Like, you, it's a doo-doo banana. But I don't, I don't want to imply the existence of the doo-doo banana because I think people are better than that, maybe. I know they're not, but like, I want to believe, you know. I like living in fantasy. You should be able to offer bed bugs as a snack. Here's a little treat for you. Did you know that crazy donuts are actually 90% reconstituted bed bugs? It's all the folded proteins. We take the proteins, we fold the proteins, we put them in the baked goods. This is, we live in a crazy donut society. And the crazy donuts are crazy for a reason. Because they're full of bed bugs. Just look at the crazy donuts. Just look at how crazy they are. Just look how crazy they are. Look at how crazy they are. They're so crazy. Don't they make you feel like you're going insane? Like you're going insane? Like you're going insane? Like you're going insane? Don't they make you feel crazy? What this truck? Who be out there driving the blue utility truck around? Huh. You know if you go to a motel, you have a, 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 a massive percentage of getting bed bugs. Which is why whenever I go to a motel, I make sure that I immediately and positively and positively cover myself in saran wrap before I sleep. And I bag all my clothes. Those bed bugs are scary. Thank you. Bed bugs are genuinely the scariest bug. Like, yes, are there more poisonous bugs? Yes, there are more poisonous bugs. Obviously, there are bugs that can poison you and kill you. Bed bugs are genuinely the scariest bug. I don't care about your scary bug with pincers and poison. Much uh, your venomous bugs. Sorry, not poisonous bugs. Venomous bugs. I am way more afraid of bed bugs because bed bugs imply that they will get into your space and they are incredibly impossible to get rid of. I literally said that the second you said erm, you mean venomous. I, I corrected myself. I knew somebody was going to pull that out. You got a little business card and the business card says, when people say animals are poisonous, I'm the guy. I'm the person who corrects them and says venomous instead. When people say, yeah, just like scary Frankenstein, I am the person who says Frankenstein's monster, which I still have. I still have problems with. That's basic level. That's basic. That, that, that's basically uh, you are living in like solar system brain i am living in galaxy brain meaning um, it's actually frankenstein's monster not true you can call the monster frankenstein and i will die on this hill because his name is victor frankenstein and the monster is his son therefore he can also go by the moniker frankenstein wow, and if you sheldon cool. cooper big bang theory at me about frankenstein's monster i know you were playing the sousaphone back in high school you fucking band kid Reading Mary Shelley's Franken fuck, you didn't even read it. You watched Young Frankenstein and you pretend to know everything Frankenstein related. There is Dr. Frankenstein and Frankenstein. You call him Frankenstein because he doesn't have a goddamn doctorate. I will not understand. Had a bad day again. Why are you walking like a. Why are you walking? I mean, honestly, you are. 
I wonder if that's a default animation in an animation pack you can buy because that's the walk that you would play an itch.io game and that's the walk the ghost would have while it walks around and then it walks into a wall and disappears. That is a that is an itch.io unity asset video game ass animation. Get out. What I was looking for. Yeah, have a good one. Hey, love helping you out. <laughs> oh man, oh me, oh my. You coming in for some snacks? Oh, let me help you out here. Oh, don't you worry about it. I got a little bit of a mess to clean up, but I love helping out. Well, if you come on down to my shop, I can get you a couple of things. I can get you cigarettes. I can get you uh, crazy donuts. I can get you purge. A little thirsty? I can help you out right away. Let me take Gary real quick. What are you looking for? You gaming? You big gamer? You play Valve's Deadlock? Pretty cool. No, service stops the second you stop in the parking lot. I'm here to help you out. What you looking for? You gonna buy some, uh, I don't got Zins. Sorry. You a Zin, you a Zin head? You a Zin maniac? Oh boy. I can get you some Zins. I ain't got them now, but if you come back in like a week, I can get you some Zins. All right, you have a good one now. I'll be right back over there. Fortnite skin women? Yeah. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't, don't you turn left. Don't you turn left. I just said, don't you turn left. You keep fucking going. You keep fucking going. Sir, I wanted a little gas. Get out. Just keep on going. I control your car now. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't want to see your face around here no more. Well, golly gee, aren't you looking sure, uh, sure as pudding, sure as pie. Let me help you out here. <gasps> some chips and some cigarettes. Get out. Thank you. They just wanted some gas. Yeah, they had to turn around. Oh, look at them. They're turning around. They're turning around. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Check this out. Oh, wow. That's cool. Check this out. Into the woods you go. Go off into the forest. Follow the fog. Find my three wizened teachers. They will show you what you're looking for. Off into the woods with you. Find my seven grizzly bears. Be gone in the woods. Be gone. Collect my eight pages. There they go. You have to leave. You Before you come to my gas station, you have to do it. You have to go and collect my eight pages. You want to stop for gasoline? You can't. Collect my eight pages now. <laughs> Sending customers out into the woods to collect my eight pages. You get a discount if you find them all. 3% off. The thing is, though, is if you had a gas station, you told somebody you can get three cents off a gallon of gas. If you go out into the scary woods and fight Slenderman and collect my eight pages, people would do that. It's the messed up thing. <laughs> People would do that for three cents off of gas. People would. Three cents off gas. Where's that faceless freak at? I'm going to get him. Nobody want to buy my chips anymore. Ain't nobody be buying chips anymore. What changed, huh? What happened to America? Why nobody want to eat chips anymore? <laughs> Turning on the TV. Going to, going to your favorite news station. Let me ask you this, folks. Whatever happened to chips? Why don't people want to go out and eat greasy handfuls of chips anymore? Whatever happened to them, huh? Why don't they eat chips anymore? Why doesn't anybody want to eat chips? Get out. Really? Why doesn't anybody want to eat chips anymore, huh? Why isn't anybody hungry? Why is everybody photosynthesizing nowadays? Why isn't anybody hungry? There's nobody eating chips anymore. Oh, yeah. What kind of beer we got here? Hunter juice? Is that Jägermeister? <laughs> Who be out there drinking? Ooh, we're buying some koala brew, baby. Yeah. What else we want? Well, we want some more soft drinks, right? We want some more options. Monster. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just fucking. Who out there drinking all the monster? <laughs> I, gotta, I need to be stopped. Somebody needs to stop me. Like on Jim Carrey, the mask say it. I'm drinking monster. I'm so thirsty. I'm mixing hunter juice and monster together. I'm making wacky brew. <laughs> Bro, hunter juice, monster, I'm making wacky brew. <laughs> I love drinking wacky brew, dude. It brings me to life. I gotta drink wacky brew. Don't talk to me before I've had at least a couple wacky brew. It keeps me normal. So gosh darn normal. To Brendan, wacky brew and crazy donuts are just lunch. <laughs> Shut the f Shut up. Is that a, is that a hot dog? What do you mean somebody left a carrot? Who? 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 who, who le Bugs Bunny? Was Bugs Bunny lost on his way? Is this Albuquerque? Who leaves a whole carrot? Was there. Did a snowman melt around here? Awesome. 
What do you mean Frosty was around here and he melted right there? All right, I don't talk about other streamers, but that's something that Jeremy would wear 100% and just walk into the Walmart and just start new boot goofing around. That's such a... That's such a youth pastor outfit. That's so crazy. Blue Slender Man. Oh, Splender Man? The worst blue suit. Listen, if I could wear this with no problems, you would catch my ass wearing shit like this. All right. Something about the pastel youth pastor, like, outfit, it calls to me some days, all right? I don't have enough money to be in my fashion era, but the day that, I, that honestly, chat, the day, if there is ever a, a time and place where I can get and enter my fashion era, you are all on fucking notice. The day that Brendan can enter his fashion era is the day the world comes close. My fashion era is right around the corner. Dare you, dare you enter, dare you watch me enter my fashion era. Leisure suits, sky blue, like sky blue pastel clothing. Hey, I was just wondering, do you, um, I have a deadlock, I have a deadlock alpha key. Um, do you want to maybe add me on Steam? No, that's all right. Have a good day. <laughs> I was just wondering, perchance, uh, I have a deadlock alpha key. Um, maybe you'd like to come over and play a little bit of deadlock with me on your, um, Asus Republic of Gamers laptop while I play on my dad's Alienware. Erm. <laughs> it gives me so much joy that chat hates that voice so much. I'm sorry, but it only brings me joy. <laughs> oh my God, how big, how big are the dinosaurs? Cause I feel like I may have made a, mere, a serious miscalculation. Um, No, they're great. They're great. Imagine, it might be a lot. I saw you drop that. You pick up that fucking durian fruit right now, mister. Buddy, you got a real big storm coming. You could stop at five or six doors or just one. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Is this just Novak? Hey, Boone, you go up on the water tower and I'll bring him out. Boone, this is the lady. This is the lady, Boone. Fire, Boone. Fire, Boone. I'm wearing your hat. Fire, Boone. Fire at her, Boone. Fire. Fire when ready, Boone. It's all over but the dreaming. Are you buying a dinosaur? I got dinosaurs now. Beer and two crazy donuts, fair. What are you buying, a dinosaur? All right, that's fine. That is quick. I hope somebody's buying a dinosaur soon. That'd be awesome. My shemp is loose. Brendan, the shemp is loose, Brendan. Shemp is on the prowl. He's hungry on this fine night. I was walking away from the Stooge convention. It was 3 a.m. It was the last day. And me and my friends, we, we had this beautiful Larry Curly and Mo routine. Um, but there was something weird. As we were leaving and walking to the parking lot where one of my buddies, Jansen, had parked his car, um, there was a Shemp. And, uh, you know, not a lot of people at the Stooge convention really dressed up as Shemp. It's not like he wasn't a popular Stooge, but, like, in the public consciousness, we're not thinking about Shemp in the modern day. And he was wearing, like, that grayscale, he had, like, the gray paint on, and he looked really like the classic Shemp. And as me and my friends were walking back to uh, Jansen's car, um, he kept following us. And slowly but surely, we were making our way through the parking garage, up one floor after another, and I swear from the corner of my eye, I could see this Shemp. This this guy dressed in grayscale Shemp outfittery. And and he was just like, it was like a 1920s cartoon villain, where they kind of sneak around with their hands out in like a claw formation. And he kept going, dun, 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 And then he'd pop out of, the, he'd pop out of view. And then I'd see him again, up another floor, and he'd go, dun, 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 dun. We get into Jance's car, and we're... Driving, right? We drive out of the parking garage, and as we're leaving, we can see him in the parking garage waving at us, and a great beam of light comes from the sky and hits him, and we hear a <laughs> in the distance, and suddenly he's gone as we're, we're driving away in his 1998 Toyota Tacoma. And I, I think about this every day, going to the Stooge convention. I, I think about that shemp, and that shemp haunts me. Was that him? Could that have just been him? Uh, to this day, I don't know. <laughs> the false shemp. <laughs> Beware the false shemp. He will lead the stooge flock astray. My brother literally drives a 98 Toyota Tacoma. Be wary, the shemps are on the prowl. I hear that the shemps come out at night. Be wary, there are shemps on the prowl. Is that Mr. Bean? And his chauffeur? Bring us the curly and wipe away the dirt. Yeah, it's supposed to say bring us the mow, you knucklehead. Ah. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Hey, loved helping you out, buddy. You made the you 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 are disgusting. Uh -oh.